Memorial Day weekend, the U.S. Coast Guard is urging people to be safe on the water. Guardsmen expect an influx of boaters heading to the Crystal Coast from all over to kick off the summer season. And the holiday also happens to mark the end of National Safe Boating Week. So the Coast Guard took me along with them this morning to give me an inside look at how they keep boaters safe and how you can do your part too. As Coast Guard boats mate Jason Williams and his fellow guardsmen prepare to launch from Coast Guard Station Emerald Isle, the crew knows despite the rain hitting their windshields, this routine run is actually the calm before the storm. As they expect hundreds of boaters to hit the water every single day of the holiday weekend. Everyone comes down to the Emerald Isle coast here and either goes out on the beach, brings their boats down. For Williams and the others, more boaters out on the water means more boating accidents and water rescues they have to respond to. You definitely see a lot more uptake. Williams says 95% of those accidents can usually be prevented simply by practicing safe boating habits. A frustrating statistic for him as some of those accidents end up fatal. It makes it almost more sad. All you can take the whole time is if they would have been wearing that kill switch or wearing that life jacket, uh, we would have been bringing them home alive. Wearing a life jacket and having a working engine kill switch at the ready are just two of many safe boating habits that can save your life. You should also have a radio or charged cell phone to call for help, never drive a boat under the influence, and get your boat inspected at least once a year by Coast Guard Auxiliary members like Vince Staracci, who knows having a working vessel can be the difference between life and death. We have come across a lot of situations where the boat is uh, don't have a life jacket, don't have fire extinguishers. Is that frustrating for you when you see a fatal boat accident and you know that if they had just come in and gotten the boat inspected, it could have been prevented? Uh, sure it is. Sure it is. There's any loss of life. That's why Starachi and Williams urge boaters to take the safety tip seriously. It could save your life and the life of others. Something Williams says is the reason he heads out on the water every day. When we do get to save a life, it's one of the most um, thrilling and adrenaline rushes you'll ever get in your life. Uh, the feeling of gratitude from them, their significant others, their family, um, when you get to bring them back to the dock is just something you never get to experience until you do it. Williams also says preventable accidents can pull critical resources away from accidents that are not preventable, impacting response times. If you do need your boat inspected, the Coast Guard Auxiliary will do it for free. They'll even come to you. Just go to our website for a link on how to request a safety check. You can be fined up to $500 if your boat inspection is not up to date.